Welcome back to another horror convention vendor spotlight video. I'm Chris and thanks for stopping by the channel. Just want to take a quick second to introduce Chris from Alternate Ending. He's one of my favorite vendors that we met at Days of the Dead Houston last September and uh, where I picked up this super badass yellow and black evil dead hat. Once I found out Jane Levy was going to be at Texas Frightmare, I had to ensure I had an appropriate t-shirt to meet her. So none other than Alternate Endings came through in clutch as they always do and uh, picked up this kick-ass shirt. So just wanted to uh, finally get this video out there to share the great stuff that Chris at Alternate Ending is doing. And I hope you find this video interesting and we'll see you at the next convention. Love your name of your business. Oh, yeah, I, I, well, I was trying to, I was toying with like special features behind the scenes, yes. bonus feature. And then I landed on Alternate Ending and I was like, this is kind of, you know, making merch, like it's kind of the alternate ending or whatever. Yes. I could Deep cuts, kind yeah, of yeah. off the wall. The, uh, I don't want to say, I guess I came up with the name Deep Cuts, but yeah. me and Matt from Deep Cuts worked together oh, yeah, yeah. before yeah. I started Alternate Ending. And, uh, and Deep Cuts was kind of something that we were like, oh, this is cool because we can do movies that people don't really yes. get to see, not the mainstream stuff. Right. You know? So it was, you know, more Deep Cuts of that. So that, that's where that came from. And then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to do my own thing. So I'll do Alternate Ending or whatever. Yes. Yeah, it really it's nice. a great name. Thank but, you so like much. It's, it's one where, as creatives, the first time we walk by it, we're like a little bit mad because we didn't think about it. <laughs> and then the second time we walk by it, we're like, embrace it. Look at all this cool stuff he has. We I, I, love I try it. to, I mean, uh, for Houston, if you guys, were you guys at Houston Horror? I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, we were. We were there too. I, I had different stickers in this. I do a play on the uh, all the old VHS. Yes, the whole Yeah, I did the uh, Be Kind and Rewind, but I just said, it just says Be Kind. And I did, so great. Uh, this merch will not melt. Yeah. And if left in a car or hot sun. So I try yeah. to do like the VHS uh, a play on those stickers and stuff. And, How long um, have you been doing yeah. conventions yeah. yourself? Uh, by myself, this is my second one. But okay. I've been with Deep Cuts for three more. So I've okay. been doing it for, uh, I've been doing alternate ending solo, like my only source of income for two years now. It was like mid COVID. I lost okay. my job. Okay. So I started doing this. So great. So, uh, it's been very good to me. And yeah. I love it so much. And I've met so many people online, and uh, a lot of people have helped me out. There's a couple of relationships I've built online uh, based on promotion through uh, like Pro Quarter Fan. There, there's a guy that runs that named Alex, and he is just. What's the name of it? Bro, Bro Quarter Fan. That's another he, good one. Yeah, it's a perfect name. So and he is <laughs> such a perfect person. He, uh, he does nothing but promote horror, and okay. he essentially promotes it for free. Yeah. Like, and he just will promote your movie, your, your shirts, he does everything. And he tweeted about my Evil Dead release, and Fede Alvarez retweeted it. it and saw it on Twitter. Oh. I was like, oh my god. I mean, he didn't buy anything, but... No, but it doesn't matter. It, like, it got me so many more sales, out. and I was like, oh, well, thank you. Like, that so, so that was all because cool. of him, and I've, I've met so many crazy people through, through doing all that. And uh, This is my, like, super ultra best friend of all time. And, yeah. Uh, He's been helping me out with this stuff too, and uh, yeah, I couldn't do it without him and without Matt to help. And uh, this has been awesome, just being able to, to do this stuff. So it's cool that part of it, just getting to hang out with your best yeah. friend over yeah, the weekend, exactly. you know? Yeah. Yes. Because I mean, there's a million people putting out scream shirts. Sure, online. but the but way these are turned, I just out, like I, mean, I wanted to make, I wanted to make it. I saw it and I was like, I, I need to make this, and I did it. And despite you know, ten or fifteen other people doing it, never let that stop me doing like this kind of stuff for you, especially t-shirts. Yeah. Take a look around, look what everybody else has got, and try to bring a different thing. Yes. And maybe, <laughs> I like the Deep Cuts guys, I haven't talked to them yet, I haven't yeah. told them this, but next to Deep Cuts over here is a group that is only doing one color prints. That is the, usually your highest profit margin, your cheapest way in, easier to print, faster, uh, and you can make some really cool stuff. Try to hit that one color stuff, and yeah. You can do things like this, like these aren't ours, these are no, these yeah. people, but you can do quotes for movies. I teamed up with uh, Damien Leone from Terrifier, and they did a shirt that just says directed by Damien Leone. That's all that's, that's on it. there. Yeah. And that's, it's to like me, if I saw by that, like, that's so I love sick. those shirts. Directed yeah. by Dario Argento, it doesn't yeah. matter. Directed by Quentin Tarantino, I've seen them all. I saw an Evil Dead 2 Perfect. that, that came, keeps coming up on my Instagram, and it just says Evil Dead 2, and it's like the ratings, you know, and, yep. and it comes, it's very yep. generic. Yes. And this is straight numbers from the VHS. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I love that over just the poster from the movie. Yeah. You know, because there's time put into that. It's I do, just more creative. I do. I get so like this is one of the posters, but it's a different design. Yeah. You know, we've got the text. So like, like when, when the the movie poster has her, but she's walking down the street backwards. So yeah. I was like, okay, I'm gonna put the her holding the chainsaw. chainsaw. It's like ash. Kick it's, ass. It's, yes. it's, it's an ode to ash. <laughs> yes. And uh, I don't know. I just love Mia. I do too, man. Well, we don't want to mess up your yeah. sales. Yeah. We just appreciate the time. I'm fixing to buy one of these yellow hats from you. <laughs> can, I, can I get you to say your name and spell it for me, please? Chris, K R I S. As both A S B E C K. Okay. I'm going to get this over here so we get all your all your uh, links. The website first. We've got the QR code based stuff. Yeah. It's so sick. I love when people have fun Instagram yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, Laser Wagon signing off. You're goddamn right. Goddamn right, Laser <laughs> Wagon. <laughs> if I have any more fun today, I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off Mickey Dolan's hat. <laughs>